We're live from Georgia, a key battleground state in the race for the White House. In just moments, the current U.S. president all right, the all right, U.S. president right. as their party's presumptive nominees. Okay, okay, okay. We want to all right, all right, all right. Candidates and their campaigns agreed to accept these rules. Now, please welcome. It's Dr. Philly McGraw here. Dr. Philly McGraw. Welcome, the 46th President of the United States, Joe Bush. on the set, <laughs> unless if you have to go to the bathroom, or anything else, but just don't come back and go back, come back and go back, just stay on the set, hang on! Ah! Nice to be here. Nice. What is going on?
And please welcome the 45th president of the United States, Donald Trump. Gentlemen, thanks so much for being here. Let's begin the debate and let's start with the issue that voters consistently say is their top concern, the economy. President Biden, inflation has slowed, but prices remain high. Since you took office, the price of essentials has increased. For example, a basket of groceries that cost $100 then now costs more than $120. And typical home prices have jumped more than 30%. What do you say to voters who feel they are worse off under your presidency than they were under President Trump? We got to take a look at what I was like. Oh, 
We love to sniff people's hair. Sniffing people's hair is like the candy. It's like, sniff, it's like sniffing cotton candy. Wake up, sleepy, creepy Joe. <laughs> Rise and shine. <laughs> Mr. Trump left me. We had an economy that was in free fall. It was in free fall. Serious, that's not the old day. See, long now, I don't know what I'm doing. He laughed, what's the name of him? I think you know, son. Oh, there's no chicken, no, 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 I'm <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, President Trump. We have the greatest economy in the history of our country. And we have never done so well. Every, everybody was amazed by it. Other countries were copying us. We got hit with COVID. And when we did, we spent the money necessary so we wouldn't end up in a Great Depression, the likes of which we had in 1929 by the time we finished. So we did a great job. We got a lot of credit for the economy, a lot of credit for the military and no wars and so many other things. Everything was rocking good. But the thing we never got the credit for and we should have is getting us out of that COVID mess. Uh, he created mandates. That was a disaster for our country. But other than that, we had we had given them back a a country where the stock market actually was higher than pre-COVID, and nobody thought that was even possible. Uh, the only jobs he created are for illegal immigrants and bounce-back jobs, a bounce-back from the COVID. He has not done a good job. He's done a poor job, and inflation's killing our country. It is absolutely killing us. Thank you. President Biden? Well, look, the greatest economy in the world. He, he's the only one who thinks that, I think. I don't know anybody else who thinks he's the, the greatest economy in the world. And, you know, the fact of the matter is that uh, we pride ourselves in a situation where his, his economy, he rewarded the wealthy. He had the largest tax cut in American history, $2 trillion. He raised a deficit larger than any president has in any one term. It's he Dr. Philly McGraw here. Dr. Philly McGraw here. I need some talking news. You know what? I'm just going to end this year to poop debate. Because, um... Dr. Philly McGraw always disrupts this video. Alright, bye guys. Subscribe and like and comment and share. Okay, bye. <laughs>